Hey guys, well the Toronto has done 360,000 kilometers now, so time to do an oil change. Want to know how to do it? That's coming up next on Torontovation. Okay, well our tools for this job will need degreasers, the cleaner, you need your oil filter which is a Z416, you'll need a ratchet with a 22mm socket, extension, you'll need a funnel, you'll need your oil drain pan, you'll need some rubber gloves. You also need some dirty clothes. This is just a singlet that I use for all changes exclusively. You'll need six litres of diesel engine oil. Um, depending on what sort of engine you have, you'll need a specific oil. In Australia, I use 15W50. Uh, if you're in uh, America, you'll probably use something like uh, 10W30 or 5W30 depending on where you live but for this job we're going to be using a Penrite HPR Diesel 15 15W50 um, you'll also need a bucket of water with soap in it please guys if you're married <laughs> don't use your wife's beautiful white sink that's a big no-no um, okay so let's go let's do this before you change your oil, ensure that your vehicle is warmed up to operating temperature. Usually about 5 to 10 minutes should do. Next, and next you want to remove the oil filler cap. This will help the engine drain oil better so it has a lot of air flowing through it. which will make draining the oil a lot more easier. Take the cap, put it into a plastic container and then you can give it a spray with some degreaser to give it a good clean. So we'll just let that sit and it will clean all of the gunk out of there. Also remove the dipstick so you get all that extra oil off as well. You can see that this really, really does look like it needs cleaning. Look at that strong side. Drain pan underneath here. I've got some old carpet on the ground. Um, if you are interested in protecting your garage floor, you can just go to a carpet shop and they'll give you a, a roll of carpet for nothing, pretty much. Jeez, that was on tight. Okay. Oil drain pan underneath. It'd be a really good idea to put your drain plug nice and clean, drain plug, where you can find it so that it won't get lost. Also just next to the dipstick which is a good idea. And also your oil filler cap which I'll give a clean off right now. There we go, good. Absolutely spotless. So we'll put those two there. Let's go and have lunch. Look at all the crap that came out of there. Ugh. Okay, so the oil filter is located on the right hand side of the Okay, so once you've got the oil filter off, give the mounting surface 
up these oil filter mounting surface surface a really good clean just to make sure there's no gunk left inside. Let's have another feel with your hand. Okay. Next we will take our brand new oil filter and we will put some oil into it. down a bit you have to do this sort of slowly so it can soak in okay so that'll do it's pretty full now we'll take a little bit of oil and just Put it around the the ring rubber gasket seal so that when we put it on and off it'll make getting it off a lot easier next time and also will seal a lot better. That's quite enough. As soon as you can't feel it sort of you can move it backwards and forwards like that. That's fine, that's tight enough. Put the drain bolt in a few turns. And then just give that a final wipe. And then spin it on. Move our oil out of the way. And then tighten it to the right. And that's tight. Moving a funnel spray. and clean beautiful sparkling the funneling Toronto takes six liters Always refer to your owner's manual. Six liters that drain and then we'll see where we're at. 
place our oil cap on and we will see where the oil level is at See it's right right on the mark there. It's right level. Just test it one more time. pretty good so that's done and generally what I'll also do is um, go for a 10 minute drive and then we'll test the check the oil level again and if it needs refilling we can put a bit more in but that looks like it's pretty much spot on Make sure you recycle your old used oil and you can take it to your nearest recycling facility. Don't just pour it down sewer drains or down toilets or onto the ground somewhere. It's really bad for the environment. Well that's it for the oil change guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you do that oil change every 5,000 kilometers and you won't have too many problems keep that engine running nice and clean um, So yeah, stay tuned for other videos coming up next. We're going to be looking at power steering systems and flushing them out. So Thanks guys. See you then